Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Very fine. Yeah. Okay, Claudia, you are fine. That's excellent. Ana Maria, how are you tonight? Hello, hello, Elias, how are you tonight? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, very good. You are excellent. So how was your day today? How was your day? Claudia, how was your day? Was it busy? Was it tired? Busy, teacher. Busy, busy. Oh, today was a very busy day. Okay, very nice. Very busy. Elias, in your case, you. how was your day? Tired, tired. Oh, it yeah. was very tired. In Ana Maria, how was your day today? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it was, no sé cómo decir, tranquilo, relajado. Oh, it was a relaxing day. It was a relaxing day. Okay, it was, it was a relaxing day. Okay, very good. And not too much work. Not. Fue más, me, ay, se lo voy a decir en, en español, eh, fue más de oficina que, que de, de campo. Ah, ok, so you rested a little bit. Tuvo un pequeño descanso. Very good. Y so, do you have any questions about the platform, exercises and evaluation? Question, question, do you have any problem, any question? Are you working on that exercises, right? Yeah, remember that we are almost to finish this English course and it is important for you to finish the platform exercises. Congratulations for the ones who have already completed all the exercises and evaluation. Congratulations. And I hope that the rest of the class will finish soon all the exercises in the evaluation. It is really important that you complete those exercises. If not, you are going to be completing them uh, with, uh, in a hurry, right? In a hurry. Van a estarlo completando muy rápido. So we still have time. So work on that, please. Don't forget about that. Tonight, tonight we're going to continue talking about the simple past tense. Hello, good evening again. I'm sorry for that. Um, my internet connection is a little bit slow tonight. I'm sorry for that. So let's start with tonight's class. I, as I was saying before, we are going to study the simple past tense of the verb be. Do you remember what is the meaning of the verb be? What is the meaning of the verb to be? Cero estar. Okay, yes, in present is cero estar. In, in past, now in past, in simple past, fui, uh, fui o estuve, right? Fui o estuve. So let's start. We are going to learn that tonight, so don't worry about that. Let's start with tonight's topic. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you see the presentation? Let me know, please, if you can see the presentation of tonight. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. okay, thanks a lot. Thank you, I really appreciate that information. So simple task with verb to be. 
Como Julian dijo, el verbo to be in simple present, it means zero start now in simple past. Fui o estuve. So welcome to your class number 12 and let's start with this topic. Look at this, the verb in simple past tense has two forms. En presente tiene tres formas. ¿Cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be en presente? In simple present. Are you? Yes. No, are, are, are is one. Are, 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 and is. Ok, excellent. Very good. Thanks a lot. Yes, the three forms in simple present are am, is, and also are. Now, in simple past, we just have two forms. Solo tenemos dos formas. They are, was, and were. Was and were. So, ¿cómo vamos a utilizar was and were? In affirmative sentences. I have here some examples for you. Uh, I need a volunteer to read these sentences, please. Who wants to participate tonight? Reading these examples. Me and Claudia. Okay, let's listen. Claudia and then Elias. Las primeras cuatro, Claudia, please. Okay. I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. Thank you very much. Elias, the next three, please. We were early. You were at the school. They were quiet. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. So look at this. I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. Then with the pronouns I, he, she, and also it, I am going to use was. I was happy. Yo estaba feliz. He was hungry. Él estaba hambriento. She was a nurse. Ella era una enfermera. It was a big dog. Ese era un perro grande. And then we have we were. You were and they were. Were lo voy a utilizar con los pronombres we, you, and they. We were early. Nosotros estuvimos temprano. You were at the school. Tú estuviste en la escuela. They were quiet. Ellos eh, eran tranquilos o estuvieron tranquilos. They were quiet. Now let's see if I want to make negative sentences. If I want to make negative sentences, I'm going to use wasn't and also weren't. So give me a second. Wasn't, wasn't is the contraction of was not and weren't is the contraction of were not. You can see that here, wasn't, was not, weren't, were not. And then I say, I wasn't sad. He wasn't hungry. She wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. We weren't early. You weren't at the school. They weren't quiet. So any volunteer to read these sentences using wasn't? Anna. Thank you, Anna. I wasn't sad. He wasn't hungry. She wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. Thanks a lot. Now with weren't, using weren't. Any volunteer to read the three sentences using weren't? And Any volunteer? And we were Sara. Thank you, Sara. We weren't early. You weren't at the school. They weren't quiet. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So let's see, in affirmative sentences, we use was and were. In negative sentences, we are going to use wasn't or weren't. Let's see the next thing here. Question with verb be in simple past tense to create question. Uh, to create equation with to be, you put the verb before the subject. Eh, para hacer una pregunta, vamos a escribir el verbo antes del sujeto. So look at this example. This is an affirmative sentence. You were happy. Tú estabas feliz. You were happy. Ahora, yo quiero saber si usted estaba feliz ayer. Then, 
Escribo el verbo to be al principio de la pregunta. Here. Where. Were you happy? Después escribo el sujeto y después el complemento en the question mark. Were you happy? That is the question. Were you happy? Then, to make a question, I am going to write the verb in simple past uh, before the subject, antes del sujeto. And then the complement in the question mark. Were you happy? Julian, were you happy yesterday? Yes. Okay. Be happy. Oh, yes, I was happy. <laughs> sí, yo estaba feliz. Very good. Claudia, were you happy yesterday? Yes, teacher, very happy. Okay, very good. So, yes, I was very happy. Nice. Let's see. Ana Maria, were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was happy yesterday. Thank you. Excellent answer. Yes, I was happy yesterday. Miriam, were you happy yesterday? Yes, happy yesterday. Okay, very good. Yes, then how are we are going to answer those questions? Look at these examples, question examples. Here is the first one in affirmative sentence. It said, I was late. I was late. Yo llegué tarde. Yo estuve tarde. Then the question is, was I late? You were sick. Were you sick? He was surprised. Was he surprised? She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? It was a big house. Was it a big house? We were ready. Were we ready? You were early. Were you early? They were busy. Were they busy? So how we are going to answer this question? And we're going to discover that later. I need two volunteers of this part. Who wants to participate? Two volunteers. Me, Sheila. Sheila N. Thank you, Sheila. Ana. Okay, Sheila and Ana. Ana, can you please read the affirmative sentences in Sheila, the question? So Ana is going to start here. I was late. Then Sheila say, was I late? Can you please? Okay, una, una y una. Yes, one and one, please. Okay. I was late. Was was is was eight? You were sick. Were you sick? He was surprised. Was he surprised? She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? It was a big house. Was it a big house? Big house. We were ready. Were we ready? Ready. Ready. You were early. Were you early? They were what? What? Were they busy? They were busy. ¿Cómo se dice eso, teacher? Okay. They were busy. They were busy. Busy. Yes. Thank you. Say it again, please. Anna, can you please say the sentence? They were, they, they were busy. Excellent. Now the question, Sheila. Were they busy? Okay, excellent. Thanks a lot, Anna and Sheila. You did an excellent job in this part. Thank you. Now let's see how to answer this question. Let's look in this part. We have the short answer. So for the question, was I late? Llegué tarde. Usted le pregunta a alguien, was I late? Llegué tarde. Then la otra persona ve el reloj y dice, yes, you were. Sí, tú estás tarde. O no, you weren't. You are on time. No, you weren't. You are on time. Now, were you sick? And you say, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was he surprised? ¿Estaba él sorprendido? 
You say, sí, él estaba. Yes, he was. O no, he wasn't. No, él no estaba. Was she from Italy? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. ¿Era ella de Italia? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Was it a big house? ¿Era esa una casa grande? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were we ready? ¿Estábamos listos? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were you early? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were they busy? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. ¿Estaban ellos ocupados? Yes, they were. Si sí, ellos estaban o oh, no, they weren't. So let's go with the next. And we are going to see this in the next conversation. Look at the first question. Where were you born, Melissa? What is the meaning of this question? Where were you born? Any idea? ¿Dónde naciste, Melissa? Okay, excellent. ¿Dónde naciste, Melissa? Y she answered, I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. So look at the example. So you weren't born in the USA. It's affirmative, negative, or question. You weren't born in the US. Negative. Negative. Oh, negative. It's, a, it's a negative sentence. Very good. Let's see. I was born in Korea. Affirmative. Affirmative. Yeah. That is an affirmative sentence. I was only 17. Affirmative. It's an affirmative sentence. Now let's see. My English wasn't very good. Negative. Negative, right? And okay, now let's see. And do you have any question about vocabulary? New words? Difficult words to pronounce in this conversation. Um, uh, I can, teacher, can or come? Can. 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 I can hear. In. I can. can. I can't hear. Can't. Yes, it's mm. can't. 1999. 1999. 19. Okay, let's, 19. Clarify, let's clarify something. Um, de, cuando estamos hablando de años, hay dos maneras de decirlo. Usted puede decir el número de años completo, en este caso sería... 1,999. 1,999. O podemos dividirlo en dos partes. Y decimos 1,999. 1,999. O puede decir el número completo. 1,999. Any other question? No more question, and then I need to volunteers to practice in this oh. conversation. Who wants to participate? Hey, teacher. Julian and? Me, Elia. Julian hey, and teacher. Elias. Okay. Uh, who say me? Who say me? For the next round. For the next round. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young? 
Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, very good job. So the year 1999, 1999. So do you know the meaning of right away? Did you go to college right away? What does it mean? What does this phrase mean, right away? Right away significa de inmediato. Fuiste a la universidad de inmediato. And she said, no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. No, pero no fue de inmediato a la universidad. Because eh, her English wasn't very good. So any two volunteers to practice this small conversation, please? Jose, In your picture, Sara. Okay, Sara, and... Thank you, Cynthia. Sara and Cynthia. Can you please start, Cynthia? Where where you burn me? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Okay, thanks. Okay, continue, please. Mm. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. Uh, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good. Too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Thank you very much, Sarah and Cynthia. Thank you. You did a very good job in this part. So this expression right away, right away in 1999, and also first, first, first. I took English classes for two years first. Thank it you very much. Yes. Uh, 1,999, uh, se pronuncia correcto, sí. Yes, 1,999. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue. Look at this. These examples from the conversation. So, I was born in Korea. It's an affirmative sentence. I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. 1998 or 1998. So I was born in Korea. The negative sentences, I wasn't born in the US. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. Eh, tú estabas bastante joven. Tú no estabas muy viejo. She was 17. She wasn't in college. Affirmative and negative. Was for affirmative, wasn't for negative. Uh, we were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. Nosotros nacimos en el mismo año. We were born in the same year. 
We weren't born in the same country. No nacimos en el mismo país. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Ellos estaban en Corea en 1998. Ellos no estaban en Estados Unidos en 1998. So here is the contraction again. Wasn't is the contraction for was not. And weren't is the contraction for were not. So any volunteer to read these affirmative examples, please? Who wants to help me? Me teacher. Thank you, Maria Luz. Okay. I was born in Korea. You were very, very young. She was 17. We were, we were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. Okay, excellent. Thank you. 1998. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Any volunteer to read the negative sentences? Negative sentences? Any volunteer? Thank you, Julian. You can start, please. I wasn't born in the U.S. You weren't very old. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same country. They weren't in the U.S. in 1,998. Okay, perfect too. 1,998. Very good. Then let's go with the next practice. Okay, we're going to complete the following sentences using was or were. So let me know what is the first answer. I 18 last year. Yo I tenía... was, was, was. I was. Okay, let's see if you're right. I was. Yes, that is the right answer. I was 18 last year. Yo tenía 18 el año pasado. So now I am 19. Let's see where the next one. Where? Where? Uh, Marta and Sara. Uh, I guess did. Did. Puse did como la siguiente. She sick last week is here. Was or where? Was. 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 I don't know. Look at this. La vera, la siguiente. I'm so sorry. But you were right. Marta and Sara were people <laughs> yesterday. And what about letter C? Was. 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 Okay. Marco was healthy last month. Marco was healthy last month. Very good. Now you say here is was. What about letter E? Was. 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 Oh, is it was or where? 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 At that the college. Where? 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 We were at that college. Nosotros estuvimos en esa universidad. We were at that college. And F, letter F. Was. Oh, was or where? Was. 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 Where? Where? Okay, if if you say was, you are completely wrong. The answer is where. You were. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, it says, you were my friend. Tú fuiste mi amigo, ya no más, ¿verdad? You were my friend, ahora ya no. So, anyone here to read A, A, B, and C? Sentence in A, B, and C, please. Any volunteer? Hello. Ana Maria, thanks a lot. Okay. I was 18 last year. Marta and Sara were painful, painful yesterday. Marco was healthy last month. Excellent, thank you. Any other volunteer to read D, E, and F? Yo, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, he was sick last week 
And we were at that college. And you were my friend. Thanks a lot. Any other volunteer? Any other volunteer tonight? Me, teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Can you please read the six sentences, please? I was um, 18 last year. Yes. Marta and Sara were painful yesterday. Marco was healthy last month. She was sick last week. We were at that college. You were my friend. Okay, thanks a lot. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Ana Maria, Brenda, and Catherine. You did an excellent job reading these sentences. Thanks a lot. Let's go with the next practice. So look at this. Michael Jackson, a very popular artist. He born in 1958. So what is it? Was or where in this part? Was. 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 Michael Jackson was or Michael Jackson where? Was. Was. Okay, was. if you say was, you are right. Michael Jackson was a very popular artist. He, he was born or he was born in 1958? He was born. He was. He was. Yes, he was. He was born in 1958. Last Saturday, Carlos and Irma were at home. And they was or were where? in the country all together? Where? 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 Okay, they were in the countryside all weekend. Let's see number four. I were worried or I was worried because they were lost. I was. I was. I was. I was. I was. Okay, I was worried because they were lost. Yo estaba preocupado porque ellos estaban. What is lost? Perdidos. Perdidos. Yes. Yeah. ¿Alguna vez se perdieron en el supermarket? No. Yes. No? Yes. yes. Ah, okay, in the park, <laughs> at the beach. So that happened, right? That happened. Now let's see, weren't Valentin and Isabel at the party? Weren't. 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 Wasn't. Weren't. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Number five, for most people, Pele, were or was one of the best soccer players in the world? Was. 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 Was is the right answer. Right. And the last one, number six. Yeah. What were, were or what was your favorite subject in high school? Were. 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 What was. What was. What was your favorite subject in high school? Do you remember that? What was your favorite subject in high school? And you say it was math, it was language, it was music, it was physical education, it was science. What was your favorite subject in high school? Language. Language, okay. Literature. Math. It was math. Science. Science, science too. Very good. Let's go to the next. And look at this small conversation. This is a conversation practice. And it is a conversation between a man and a woman. So the man asked, how was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice, was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. New vocabulary in this small conversation. Surprising. Surprising. Crowded. 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 Oh, crowded. Crowded. It was lleno. 
Was it crowded? Estaba lleno? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. No, no había muchas personas ahí. Surprisingly, sorprendentemente. Any other word? What is the meaning of scary, for example? Miedo. Okay. okay, estuvo aterradora la película. Was it scary? Estuvo aterradora. Yes, it was really scary. Sí, estuvo muy aterradora. Nice. Was it crowded? Movie. Yes, they are talking about movie. Ok, ¿qué película les parece scary, scary, que da miedo o aterradora? Ninguna. Qué, qué valientes son. Nice. La Moon, la Llorona. Ok. La Llorona, de Moon. <laughs> el Conjuro. Oh, el, el conjuro, the, sí. the Conjuring. Yes, yes, it's really scary. Very good. So, any other question about vocabulary? No question then. I need two volunteers who wants to participate no. practicing this conversation. Oh, oh surprisingly, sorprendentemente, surprisingly, surprisingly. Oh, okay. Surprisingly. 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 To volunteers to practice in this conversation. No volunteers. Then I'm going to pick someone. Sara. Sara and. Sara and. Okay, Sara and Julian. Can you please start, Julian, please? How was the movie? It was really. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nay, was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. Excellent thing, scary, scary. They were scary. Yes, it was really scary. Scary. Very good, thanks a lot, Julian and Sarah. Any other volunteer to practice in this small conversation? How was the movie? Your name, please. Maria Luz. Thank you, Maria Luz. Any other volunteer? Mia, Mia. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you, Ana. So, Elias and Maria Luz. Can you please start, Elias? So, was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it, it wasn't. There weren't any people there. Surprising. Surprising. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly. 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 Okay, and they were scary. Scary. Scary movie. Very good. Thank you, Maria Luz and Elias. Let's see the yeah. next. Okay, look at conversation number two. Where were you last night? ¿Dónde estuviste anoche? Mm, I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. ¿De veras? Yo fui a tu tienda y tú no estabas ahí. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really, I was there. So what is this conversation about? ¿De qué estaban hablando estas dos personas? ¿Qué hizo anoche? Ok, se, hizo le había, anoche? se le había perdido. ¿Dónde estuvo anoche? Yes. Les estaba reclamando dónde estaba. 
Ah, ok. Aparentemente le estaba reclamando. ¿Dónde estuvo anoche? Ah, reclamo. <laughs> so, where, no where you? mentira. <laughs> Parece falso que estaba allí, ¿verdad? Where were you last night? I was at work. Estaba en el trabajo. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. Estaba en la parte de atrás trabajando. You were? Really? I was there. De veras, yo estaba ahí. So, any to volunteer to practice this small conversation, please? Me, teacher. Thank you, Miriam. And? Me, Sheila. Anna. Thank you, Sheila. Anna in the second round. Siga, Sheila. Miriam and Sheila in the first round, please. And can you please start, Miriam? Okay. Where, where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. Weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really, was there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see the other conversation. Yes? Como a veces hay palabras parecidas en la pronunciación. Como where, where, como se diferencia. Porque podemos um, decirlas como iguales. O sea, yo sé que esa lleva, lleva la H, pues, pero para diferenciar. Uh -huh. Ok, in this case, they are homophones. Son palabras homófonas que suenan iguales, tienen el mismo sonido. Where and also where. So, la única manera de distinguirlos es el contexto. Por ejemplo, acá decimos que where and where. So, como están en una misma oración, where is donde. Y where sería el verbo to be en pasado. So, where were you last night? Suenan iguales. Solo por el contexto o por el spelling. ¿verdad? La manera de escribirlos vamos a saber que es una palabra diferente. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you for your question. Let's go to the next conversation. How was the test? How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. So the question, how was the test? What is the meaning of that question? How was the test? Almost to Okay, it was really hard. It's too fácil or difficult. Difícil. Difícil. It was really hard. How long was it? How long was it? ¿Cuánto duró? ¿O qué tan largo era? There were about 20, 20 problems. Yes, 20, 20 problems. 20 problems. Then the next question. Yeah. What was your score? What was your score? Ok, excelente. What was your grade? ¿Cuál fue tu nota? ¿Cuál fue tu resultado? What was your score? And let's just say, it. digamos, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Las piernas no se sienten aquí. So, no fue grande. No fue grandiosa, la nota no es grandiosa, pero tampoco es mala. So, ¿Cuánto creen que se sacó? No sé. Like six, seven, eight, eight something like that. Right? Let's just say it wasn't great. No fue grandiosa, but it wasn't bad either. Pero tampoco estuvo tan mal. ¿no? So nice. And do you remember about the pies? ¿Se acuerdan cuando tomaron la pies? What was your score? Oh, yeah. Yo me saqué seis. Oh, six. Six was your score. 
but that is a good gray. That is a still a good gray. Okay, nice. Uh, to volunteers to practice this small conversation. Yo, Brenda. Brenda and? Teacher. Brenda and Cynthia. Can you please Cynthia. start, Brenda? Uh, how, how was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah. What was the score? Let ya ya say it was was in great, but it was in bad. Air. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa última palabra, Tich? Either. 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 But either. Yes. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Ana. Sorry, Brenda and Cynthia, you did an excellent job. Thanks a lot. Let's go with conversation number four. This is the last conversation. Do you know who was at the party? Eh, ¿Sabes quién estuvo en la fiesta? Jason was there. Jason estuvo ahí. So was Sue. Sue también estuvo. Were Tom and Katie there? ¿Estuvo Tom and Katie ahí? No, they weren't there. But their son was. No, ellos no estuvieron ahí, pero ¿quién sí estuvo? But their son was. What is the meaning of son? Ah, pero ¿quién sí estuvo? But their son, son was. Hijos. Ah, pero su hijo estuvo. Oh, I see. So, was it fun? Was it fun? What is the meaning of this question? Was it fun? Oh, see, so was it fun? Was it divertido? Excellent. Sí, Is, ¿Estuvo divertida la fiesta? Was it fun? Yeah, it was a fun evening. Yeah, it was a fun evening. ¿A qué horas fue la fiesta? <laughs> yeah, it eh, was a fun evening. Um, en la noche, ¿verdad? It was at night, in the evening. It was a fun evening. Fue una tarde noche divertida. Yeah, it was a fun evening. Te volunteer to practice this small conversation. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Thank you. Julian and? Miriam. Thank you, Miriam. Julian and Miriam. Can you please start, Miriam? Okay. Do you know who was at the party? Jason was there, so what, so? Were Tom and Katie there? No, they weren't there, but this song was. Oh, I see. So was it fun? Yeah, it was a fun evening. Thanks a lot. Excellent job, Juliani, Miriam. Thank you. Let's see, look at this. I have here some question and some answer. So you have to match. You have to match the answer and the question. Question number one, were you at home yesterday? What is the answer? Look for the answer A, B, C, D, or E. What is the right answer? Question number one, were you at home yesterday? Number two, was Ryan in class yesterday? Three, was the concert good? Four, was the movie interesting? Five, was Susan at the library yesterday? So for number one, what is the right answer? A, B, C, D, or E? Uh, what is you just said? A, or D? D. Ah, D. D. D, no, I wasn't, I was at a concert. Okay, <laughs> let's choose D. Number two, oh. was Ryan in class yesterday? Letter E. Oh, letter E. No, he wasn't. He was. E. He was sick. Okay, number three, was the concert good? Sí. 
Letter C, <laughs> okay. yes, okay. it was. Matt, Matt Damon is a great actor. Yeah, are you sure? Letter A. 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 Which one? A, B, or C? A. 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 You see, A, no, it was in the music, was pretty bad. Okay. Let's see the next. Was the movie interesting? B or C? C. 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 B or C? B or C? C. C. Letter C, okay. C. Let's just see. In the last one, was Susan at the library yesterday? Letter B. Letter B, yes, she was. We were both there. Letter. Sí, ella estuvo ahí. Nosotros ambos estuvimos ahí. So check the answer. One B, two E, three A, four C, and five B. Is it right? Is it right? No. Not really. Let's see, number one. This is the no, it wasn't. Were you at home yesterday? No, I wasn't. I was at a concert. Number two. Uh huh. Was Friday in class yesterday? No, he wasn't. He no, was sick. He wasn't. Three. Uh -huh. Was the concert good? What? No, it wasn't. The, concert the music. Good? No, it wasn't. It was a concert. D. It's the three. It's the D. D. Okay, I need two volunteers in this part. Who wants to participate? Two volunteers, please. Oh. Who wants to help me Catherine. in this part? Catherine and. Any other volunteer? Ahora sí, Ana. Ana Maria. Okay, thank you. Um, Catherine, can you please ask the question? And Ana Maria, can you please read this, the answers? Catherine, the question, Anna, okay. the answers, please. Were you at home yesterday? No, I wasn't. I was a concert, at a concert. Was Ryan in class yesterday? No, no he wasn't. He was sick. Was this concert good? No, it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. Was the movie interesting? Yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. Was Susan at the library yesterday? Yes, she was. We were both there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ana Maria and Catherine. You did an excellent job. So these were interesting. Interesting. And library. 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 Library, library and interesting. Interesting. Library. Interesting. Okay, thank you very much. And let's go with the next. This is okay. This is the last practice. Look at this. And number one, were you angry yesterday? Who wants to answer this question? Were you angry yesterday? Can you say where? No, I haven't. Okay, Julian say. No, I wasn't. Were you angry yesterday? What's the meaning of that question? Were you angry yesterday? 
What is the meaning of the question? Ah, okay, excellent. And you say, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Let's see, I'm going to teach you yes, some more. Okay, Catherine say, was. yes, I was. Miriam, were you angry yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay, let's see. Claudia, were you angry yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Cynthia, were you angry yesterday? No, I wasn't. Okay, so Carla Vanessa, were you angry yesterday? Were you angry? Um, I know, no, no, no. Oh, eh, la pregunta es, ¿estuvo enojada ayer? Yo sé, yes, I was. Sí, yo estuve. Um, o no hay was en no, no estuve enojada. Yes, I was. Yes, you were. Ok, Mucho. very good. Mucho. Ah, oh, I was very angry. I was very angry yesterday. Ok, yes. thanks. Let's see, were you in a hurry this morning? Were you in a hurry this morning? Salió apurada esta mañana de su casa. Were you in a hurry this morning? Yes, I was. Yes, no, I, I was. Yes, I was. Oh, okay. Every day, teachers. Were you in hurry this morning? Yes. Oh, let's see the next one. Were you very busy yesterday? Were you very busy yesterday? Mm. Yes, I was. Okay. Yes, I was. Ok, very good. So you were busy yesterday. ¿Estuvo usted muy ocupada ayer? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay. Julián, were you very busy yesterday? Yeah, yes, I was. Elias, were you very busy yesterday? Yes, I was. Brenda, were you very busy yesterday? Um, Miriam, were you very busy yesterday? Yes, I was. Oh, let's see the next one. Were you a quiet child? Were you a quiet child? Were you una niña o un niño tranquilo? Yes, teacher. Yes, I was. Oh, Elizabeth was. No, I wasn't. Oh, Elias said, no, I wasn't. Be sincere. Be honest. Le sacó canas verdes a su mamá. Were you, o a su maestro. Were you a quiet child? Yes, I was. <laughs> okay. I was. Yes, I was. Oh, no, I wasn't. Yes, I was. Ah, oh, Julián, say, yes, I was. ¿Le yes, creemos was. o no le creemos? Yes, I was. Ok, nice, very good. Les voy a creer. You were a quiet child. Okay. Let's see the next one. Were you a good student? Yes, were... I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. <laughs> ¿En la clase de inglés? Yes, ah, ok, I was. excellent. Yes, I was. Aunque no entendemos. <laughs> <laughs> then were you a good student? Fue usted un buen estudiante in the school, in the high school? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Bueno, voy a preguntarle a sus compañeros, bueno, a ver si es cierto. That you were a good student. No se escapaban del instituto. Okay, nice. So, were you a good student? So we answer yes, I was or no, I wasn't. So do you have any question about tonight's class? We had been studying a simple pass of the verb be, was and where. Questions? If you don't have any questions, thank you again for your punctuality, for your attention and for your participation. Thanks a lot for the ones who participate a lot in this class. Thank you. So
Snu, do you have any question? No, teacher. No, no question. No question. No question. Okay, very good. No so, question. thanks a lot again. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, don't forget, please, about the platform exercises and evaluation. Remember that you have to complete them before the last class. If not, you are going to be in trouble. No se vayan a problemar, ¿verdad? Y hacerlo todo a última hora. So keep working on that, please. Keep working on that. Yeah, I'm sure that you are going to finish, right? You are going to finish. So see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Sweet, sweet drinks. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, Cynthia, do you have any questions? Okay, no questions.